Wow, new toys! Hello everybody, my name is Cody, the guy you see on screen is Eli, and today we are servicing some claw machines. These claw machines are at a Chinese restaurant, a very popular Chinese restaurant. These, uh, you can always count on these to do very well. We're gonna do something different today. While we're filling these machines, I'm gonna fast forward the footage and put some music so uh, you all relax and enjoy. Welcome back just in time. We are pulling our money from the claw machine. Let's see how it did. And it did very, very well on quarters. Very well. Look how look how thick the pile is and it just absolutely fills the bag up. Wow. So not to get ahead of myself, but um you know what, never mind. You guys can wait. Let's open up and bang. I love it. That is fantastic. We were laughing because he couldn't get the, uh, there's so much of it. He, could, he couldn't get it out. It kept slipping and sliding everywhere. Wow. All right, on to the next one. All right, on to claw B. Open that door up, pull out the quarters, and it did well. It didn't do as as well as the uh, as claw A, but uh, that's that's very very good, very good. Eli's so excited he's throwing money. Look at him. <laughs> Let's open up this bill magazine and look at that. Oh my God. 
today was a good day we also didn't cash out the toy rack it um it wasn't ready to be cashed out so we were gonna let that sit for uh, another month and and see how it does but man look at that all right get it all counted that is 444 dollars in cash and that is $194 in quarters, bringing that to $638 gross uh, profit. So not bad at all. So here we are now at a grocery store location. There's our toy rack and it is doing great. Need to service that soon. The gumballs are doing fantastic. Step on over to our claw machine. This is a Route 66 claw machine, very cool. And it has been played quite a bit. There's a lot of toys moved around in there uh, in places that we did not put them. So that's a good sign, but there's also a lot of toys missing. So that's also a really good sign to know that um, we have happy customers. Eli giving it the good old wax on, wax off. Very important to keep your, to keep your machines clean. But if you come in and you're about to service and you see a bunch of little handprints, uh, it's pretty exciting because it's a good uh, indication that, you know, it's been played like crazy. Not to mention the missing toys or lack thereof, depending on how hard you have your machine set. All right, let's get inside and take a look at what we got. Now, we like to have a mix of generic and licensed plush. Um, it kind of helps us with uh, higher margins. And it's also fair to the customer, you know, if they want to go for uh, a Spongebob plush, for example. Alright guys, now we're going to go ahead and fill up this machine a little bit. We're not going to we're not gonna pull money from it, but we are going to fill it up uh, so it gets played a little bit more. And um, we'll go ahead and service it later on down the road. But I want to go ahead and talk to you guys for a minute and kind of get your guys' feedback on things. First off... Thank you guys so, so much. I mean, you guys are the best. Um, 1,700 of you guys subscribe to subscribe to our channel. That means so, so much. Thank you so much, guys. It just means the world to us. With that, we also like to get what you guys think, uh, what you guys like to see. So, like, I just showed you the claw getting filled up. And I put some question, I, I put a question that was answered, I answered it and told you where we get our labels from, our stickers. And I also put tips on uh, setting up a claw machine on, you know, ways to help you increase your sales and things like that. So uh, a sped up version of us filling up the machines and um, little things like that, like tips and questions that you guys have and we can and I answer them on screen like that uh, if you like that let me know in the comments below I can start doing something like that or maybe you just rather uh, I didn't put anything and I just sped it up and I put some music on and you guys just watch whatever you want uh, I can do it and that's no problem at all and yeah Let's go ahead and fill up the rest of this machine and get it all nice and full. guy open and see how it's performing uh just a little shout out to the craniacs we bought a couple uh actually four plush from them uh two of them were taken by eli's adorable two-year-old daughter and uh the other two are in this crane so thank you guys so much we love them and uh, i hope somebody else loves them too because they will be one sooner or later but oh my gosh look at those quarters 
it is doing well not ready yet uh but it will be wow and the bills are doing very very well all right guys before we get off here i just want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh pre-owned machines and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them actually we have bought a few pre-owned machines and there are some out there that are that are very good and just underrated like this guy right here it's a little pricey uh i'm sure for a lot of you especially if you know this you're brand new to it and you know it's kind of it's kind of scary because you know you're investing all this money and and that sort of thing but just an example of of something that's not too bad on here i am noticing a lot of uh early 90s mid 80s machines on here things that i'd stay away from uh this toy taxi though is not too bad uh these things these things can go up to about two thousand dollars if you buy them brand new online uh, unless you know a guy uh, those are about the prices that you're looking at. i think that was a 31 inch could be wrong uh, but yeah, somewhere in that price range. So the price that they had it for is pretty fair. Uh, one like this, I don't think I would put on route. It is a little, uh, it is a little older, but still, uh, still a good machine. If you know, if you if you are on a budget and it's all you can afford, so don't stray from uh, buying pre-owned. Uh, like this hot stuff uh, machine. This is a great machine still. Yeah, it's it's a thousand dollars, but You know These machines like today we pulled it, it, Something like six hundred dollars and yeah, we had to give a percent to the owners But just over time and over time and over time. It's gonna pay itself off uh, If it's if it's a strong enough spot but uh like one i'm about to put on uh on screen here this is a route 66 we picked up this was about 45 minutes away from where we live and it was a great buy we we picked this thing up for i believe it was six maybe six maybe 900 somewhere in there uh either way we put it on route for for a few weeks and it made it made like 200 a month almost 300 average and it gave us the ability to sell it and along with the money that it made uh we were able to upgrade to something newer which is which should be your end goal here is to get newer equipment because it is just gonna catch people's attention you know everybody likes the new and shiny things so something to uh consider like this one right here not bad at all i would put this on route uh that is that's a good looking machine and and yeah there's no denying it i would use it in a heartbeat uh so anyways guys uh there's our machine right there that's the one that we picked up and we used for a little while and sold but it did well and you know i'm really glad that we did that and and secondhand uh or pre-owned you know it's 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 not a bad way to go but uh we're gonna go ahead and end this video and i want to do eli and i were talking and we want to do a giveaway for 2,000 subscribers so we were thinking we could do a gumball machine and some money now we're not quite sure yet uh, we're we're, a, we're quite a ways away from 2,000 I think we'll get there really really quick but uh, but yeah as of right now we're about 1700 so got a little ways but uh, you know if you guys like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave us a comment if you have a question if any of this uh, stuff interests you, let us know, and uh, we'd love to talk to you, and just, I could talk about this stuff for hours and hours, so thank you guys so much for watching, goodbye.